Good morning. Good morning, First Star Prayer fam. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. This morning, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Somebody say, I will rejoice and be glad. <laughs> Not just to rejoice, but I will be glad in it. Y'all come on in. Wake up a friend, wake up a sister, a brother, a cousin. Let them know that we're on this morning. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Say good morning to each other. Say good morning to each other as you guys come on in. Come on in. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Um, virtual anointing is keep going, don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. That's the virtual anointing on this morning. Good morning, Rhonda, Chantel, Teresa, Sylvia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Come on in. Come on in. Say good morning to each other as we always do. Y'all, excuse my voice. I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to keep on going. Amen. Good morning, Patty, Francis. Yes, I will rejoice and be glad. <laughs> Chantel, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, Psalms 102 says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And that's exactly what we do every morning. We just come in on first hour prayer and we just pray together. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I am not alone. He's my comfort. Always holds me close. Hallelujah. I am not alone. He's my comfort. Always holds me close. Because your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Your spirit. It lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory, hallelujah. I am not alone. He's my comfort always. You're always holding me close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. I thank you for always holding me close and for not allowing me to be by myself. God, I thank you that your spirit lives within me. So therefore, I will have peace and victory. God, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for waking us up, oh God, for giving us another opportunity to lift up your name, to praise your name, oh God. God, we do not not take this time lightly. God, we honor you. We thank you, oh God. You said in your word daily, will you seek me? And God, we're here seeking you, oh God. Have your way in our lives, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for being almighty. Thank you, oh God, for being Abba, our father, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for abundant life. Oh my God. Thank you for abundant life. Even when we don't even think that we have abundance, oh God. Thank you that we have abundant life, oh God. Thank you for your blessings, oh God. Thank you for always calling us by our names, oh God. Thank you that you know us by our names and you call us friend, oh God. Thank you, oh God. God, for being our friend, 
thank you, oh God, that you always think of us. Who are we that you are so mindful of us, oh God? Thank you, oh God, for just being mindful, oh God, of us. God, we thank you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, oh God. We thank you for being everlasting God. You're an everlasting God. You, your name reigns forever. Your name reigns forever. God, we thank you that you have all power in your hands. God, we thank you that we serve a mighty God. We serve a God that can do all things but fail. We thank you, oh God, that we honor you and that we bless you, oh God. We thank you that you're so kind. We thank you for being a just God. We thank you for being a loving God. We thank you, oh God, that we know that we have peace when we call on your name. We have joy when we call on your name, oh God. Oh God, we thank you that we have strength when we call on your name. We thank you for being a strong God. Oh my God. Thank you for being a strong God. Thank you, oh God, that we can call on you because you are our source, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that you are the source, oh God. Oh my, you're the source, oh God. You you have everything in your hand. You're the source, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that you are the source. Thank you, oh God, for being merciful. Thank you, oh God, that we know that no one is like you. Nobody, nobody is like you. Thank you, oh God. We serve an almighty God. We serve a God that can do all things, oh God. I don't care how little, how big, oh God, you can do it. And God, we thank you that you can do it. We thank you that your name has that much power. Oh my God, your name has that much power. We thank you, oh God. And we thank you that we give you every everything. We submit it to you, oh God. We submit everything to you, oh God, because we know that you can do it. We give it to you, all of our cares. We give it to you, all of our burdens. We give it to you, oh God. God, we know that you are the only one who can help us, oh God. God, and we thank you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We trust your name, oh God, and we believe in your name, oh God. We thank you, oh God, on this morning. We will keep going, and we won't stop. No matter what comes our way, we're going to keep on walking. We're going to be, we're going to keep on believing. We're going to keep on trusting. Oh God, we will not stop. We will not stop because victory shall be ours. Victory shall be ours. No matter what it looks like, victory is ours on this morning. Oh God, God, we thank you. And we love you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Oh God, we bless your name. Oh God, on this morning, we thank you. Oh God, for who you are. You are our God. You are our God. And we bless you on this morning. We thank you, oh God. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Virtual anointing. Keep going. Don't stop. Somebody put on there. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. No matter what comes your way, don't stop. No matter how it looks, don't stop. Keep going. You got this. Somebody encourage somebody this morning. You got this. Keep going. You got this. John 16 and 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace so that in me, you will have peace. I love it. In the Amplified, it says you may have perfect peace. Oh my God perfect peace. So I have told you these, th these things so that in me, you will have perfect peace. That's why we got to trust God because in him, we have perfect peace. Then it continue on and says, um, in this world, you will have trouble in this world. You will have trouble. He already told us, listen, he told us you will have trouble. But I don't care what you're facing. I don't care what trouble comes your way. Oh, my God. In that, you will have perfect peace. Why? Because we believe in him. It says, but take heart. I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. So I've done it. Whatever needs to get done, I've done it already. I went before you. I've taken over. I've overcome the world. So therefore, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, you got this. You can keep on going. Oh my God. Isaiah 41 10 says, so do not fear 
for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Oh my God, I am your God. It says, I will strengthen you and I will help you and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Why the right hand? Because the right hand has power. Oh my God. God, when I was reading this, I was like, oh my God. He says, I will strengthen you. I will help you and I will uphold you. Somebody put that on there. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. Strengthen, help, uphold. Oh my God. Strengthen, help, uphold. <laughs> oh my God. So don't fear. He warned us. He warned us in the first verse. It says, in this world, you will have trouble, but don't fear. He says, do not fear. Why? Because I am with you. I am your God. Don't, don't be afraid of it. Yeah. It may look like, you know, things are going crazy, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. He says, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. Why? With my right hand. Why the right hand? Because it has all power. Oh my God. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you said it. You said we will face difficulties. We will have trouble. But you said take heart that if we love you, if we believe in you, that you will give us perfect peace, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that we do believe in you. Thank you for the perfect peace, oh God. No matter what comes our way, oh God, you will give us perfect peace, even in the craziness, even in the... um. Whatever we're facing, oh God, we will have perfect peace. Thank you for your perfect peace, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that we know that we will overcome this because you already overcame it, oh God. And because we're in you, we know that we have victory. Victory shall be ours. It's already victorious, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for the victory. Thank you, oh God, that we will not fear. No matter what comes our way, we will not fear because you are with us. You are our God, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that you will strengthen us. You will help us. You will uphold us, oh God. And because of that, we will have victory. God, we thank you for the victory. And because we have the victory, we will keep on going. We will not stop. Jesus, Joshua 1 and 5 says, no one, no one, nobody, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. I don't care who they are. They cannot stand against you. He says, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. All the days of your life, Patty, Francis, Chantel, Linda, Teresa, Rhonda, all the days of your life, no one will stand against you. No one can do nothing. You hear me? They could try. They could try, but you know what? You cannot stand against me. It says, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you and I will never leave you nor forsake you. He's always with us. Even when we feel like we're alone, he's still there. Oh my God. Even when we feel like, God, we don't feel you. He's still there. He hears us. Oh my goodness. Verse seven says, be strong and very courageous, not just courageous, but very courageous. He says, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may be successful everywhere you go. It says so that you will be successful wherever you go, wherever you go, everywhere you go, wherever you go, you will be successful. As long as you are obedient to God's word, as long as you're obedient to his voice, that's the problem we have. We don't want to be obedient. We want to do it our way because we see that, oh, it can work out this way or it can work out that way. No, he said. If he tells you to go straight, don't you go left or right because you see an easy way out. Uh-uh. Because in that easy way that you might think that's easy, that is not the way that God 
it's, it's like a detour. We're going to have more issues. We're going to have more problems because we were not being obedient. So be obedient to God's word. If he tells you to go straight and you see something, an uh, obstacle in your way, that's okay. Just know that, you know what, God, you said that you will strengthen me, help me, and uphold me. So therefore, no matter what comes my way, no matter what's in front of me, I look, I may not understand it, but I'm trusting you and I'm going to be obedient to your word. So therefore, I'm going to stay straight. Oh, my God, because you never know. It's not for you. A lot of times we want to take the issues or the problems and we want to solve them. What? It's not for you to solve. Why? So that you can get the glory. Absolutely not. God will always get the glory. <laughs> God will always get the glory. That's why we have to be obedient. He said, if you're going to be, he said, if you are obedient, you will be successful. You will be successful wherever you go, wherever you go, you will be successful. This is the reason why we got to be obedient. We got to be obedient to God's word. Why? So we can be successful wherever we go, wherever our feet go we will be successful oh my god in my coming in and in my going out i will be successful <laughs> romans 8 28 says and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him he said god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. We all have been called, oh my God, according to his purpose, his purpose, his purpose is to glorify him, his purpose. So we all have been called. This is why it's so important that we be obedient to be successful so that not for us to get the glory, but for God to get the glory. Oh my God, he works everything out. Why? For them who love him, though, for those who love him. Um, I said this on my uh, Facebook page um, a, a couple of days ago because pastor was like, do you know God? Do you know God or do you know of God? What is your relationship? Do you just know of God because of your parents bringing you into church? This is one thing that I always teach my girls. Listen, I'm going to tell you about God, but it's up to you to have the relationship. It's up to you to have the relationship with God. So you have to have a relationship with God. Why? So that you know who he is. That you know that you can love him no matter what comes your way. That you know that you can trust him. That you know that you can believe in his word. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He's never left you. He's never left you. So your relationship with him will always be, even though I may feel alone, I still know you're there. Oh my God. Why? Because I know who you are. You are my God. So the relationship we have, even though, listen to me, because there's a lot of times we may feel alone. We may feel alone, but that's the natural part. See, and that's why we can't look at it through our natural eyes. We got to look at through the spiritual eyes and always be spiritual. Oh my God, you always got to look through it through your spiritual eyes. Because if you look through it through your natural eyes, you will always fall. Oh my God, you will always give up. You will always throw in a towel. So this is the, the importance of you looking at it through your spiritual eyes. That's the point of you having the faith in God and knowing God God, the relationship I got with you, I may feel alone, but I know one thing, I'm not alone. I may feel alone, but I know that I'm not alone. That's the difference. I may feel it, but I got to know that I'm not alone. Jesus, God, we thank you. Verse 31 says, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? I don't care what it looks like. I don't care. God is before me. God is before me. God got my back. God, I know that you're right here with me. I may feel alone, but I know that I'm not alone. Why? Because God is for me. God is for me. God, we thank you for your word on this morning. We thank you, oh God. You said it in your word that because you will work the good because we love you. The good, you said God works for the good of those who love him, who are called according to 
your purpose, oh God. We are called according to your purpose to glorify you, oh God. Everything that we do is to glorify you. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, oh God. We will be strong. We will be very courageous, oh God. We will obey. We will be obedient to your voice. We will be obedient to your word, oh God. We will so that we can be successful wherever we may go. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you that no matter what comes our way, we know that you are with us. We know that you are with us. Who can stand against us? Nobody. Nobody can stand against us. Why? Because we have you on our side. God, we thank you. We thank you that you always looking out for us. We thank you that you go in front of us and you fight the battles before us. We thank you, oh God, that you already got the victory, oh God. And because of our relationship, we have the victory as well. God, we thank you for the victory. We thank you for all the victorious things that we have in our lives, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We love you. We honor you. We give you the glory, oh God. We just thank you, oh God, because you are so mindful of us, oh God. We just give you the glory. We thank you, God, that we're going to keep on going. We won't stop. We won't stop praising you. We won't stop trusting you. We won't stop believing in you. We won't stop worshiping you. We won't stop praising you. Oh, God, we will keep on going. We will keep lifting up your name. We will keep telling people about who you are. Oh, my God, we will keep telling them that you are the same God. You did it for Moses. You did it for Isaac. You did it for Jacob. Oh, God, do it for us. Oh, God, we know that you can do it for us. And that's why we're going to brag on you. We're going to brag on the God that we serve. God, we thank you. We will keep going and we won't stop in the name of Jesus. We will have victory on this morning and we love you and we honor you and we bless your name. In Jesus name, we pray. Oh my God, victory, victory. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies be defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. I will live, I will not die, I will declare and lift you high. Christ revealed, and I am healed. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. Listen, God is fighting for us. Listen, he's fighting for us. You're not fighting this battle by yourself. This is God's battle. So keep on going. Keep going. Don't stop. I love you guys. Have a good day. <laughs>